it, but it's not changing the world. Okay, Stop Russell it. Simmons. It's like the nigga that, you know, he doesn't want to. You're live right now. Like he won't use a cheap car. Yeah. Right? And he's watching his friend have a hamburger. He's not having a hamburger. He's doing a lot of good. It's like the person with the mask who has the, uh, the uh, you know, the mask. And, and they walk because they don't want to kill the bugs, right? Or sweeps the path. Right. The yogi that sweeps his, his yeah, or yeah. her path. It's certainly good, and it's certainly part of a process. And if you're spiritually there and physically, you know, at a, a space where that makes you happy or that's part of your, you know, practice of ahimsa, yeah. then it's good. Sure. Um, but it's a little just, extreme. But it's a, I don't know if it's extreme or not, because every individual can go to whatever length he can to protect and support the collective, right? Every, each of us do the best we can. Well said. Um, can I introduce say, you real I quick? Got, I, I okay, have to the, shoot, but they're like... Russell, one sec. To the two people no who don't belt. know this man, I am filming Russell Simmons, and we're in the um, your Tantris. New Tantris, which right, is not pronounced Tantris, it's Tantris. You know, my guru told me, um, it was Sharon and, and David, my guru. So yeah, Sharon told the Jiva Mukti. Me, yes, from, ja from Jiva yeah. Mukti. We're very close. She, she built Jiva Mukti because, not Jiva Muk Jivan Mukta, yeah. because she didn't want to use a Sanskrit word for a commercial venture. Mm. And I thought about that, and I had the word Atman, I let it go. Atman was a mm -hmm. word that I had um, the rights to, and I gave it away. Wow. And, um, That's ironic, to have the rights to Atman. Right, exactly. That's right, so that doesn't make sense. Good, the higher, I have the rights to the higher self, and the rest of you guys, you know, <laughs> fuck you. It's my higher self. Right, yours. that's right, all of it's mine. Yeah. So I had that, and I gave it away, and I went to, and then anyway, Tantra and Tantra, Tantra and Tantra are different. Inspired in some ways by the, the those are people who did things that the monks didn't prescribe, but evolved through those things that we all evolved through struggle, right? So okay. there's kind of a, a philosophy of yeah. why, but, but on the surface, you know, as a commercial marketeer, I thought, tantris, hot, sexy yoga. Oh, mm -hmm. shit. Yeah. <laughs> so it's kind of, you know, it's a play on words, and it's inspired in some ways by struggle or choices that uh, don't necessarily serve us, but kind of give us short-term happiness. Anything about Tetris in there? No. No. Not, no. no. But, but it's a, just a fun, sexy yeah. word yeah. that we created. And what it means uh, is on, on the surface, of course, fun, sexy, yoga, but there's a lot around it, obviously, because the intention of Tantris is to, to change the whole vibration of the planet, right? Which everything does, and every good intention does. All but right. to really have a measurable mark on the planet. Let me jump in and ask you a dumb Which question. Which everything does, and everybody does. May I? But dumb question time? Just because you're, you're going like 40 miles per hour and the rest of us are struggling to keep Isn't up. Isn't this a yoga podcast? No, you are awesome. No, well, These niggas know what I'm talking about. Yeah, but it's- They're yogis, right? Oh, they, they do. So they, they understand. No, I'm not saying they can't understand. You're right on. All I'm saying is we're in Tantris. We're in oh, yeah. West Hollywood. 9200, it, it just opened. Um, you're one of the leading sort of advocates and gateways to meditation, I would say, in, the, in America, if not the world. So thank you for doing that. And why, how did you come to meditation on your path? Well, I went to yoga first. My first teacher actually just uh, closed his studio and joined us as a teacher. Oh, It's kind of amazing. Full 20, circle. Yeah, about 23 years ago, whatever it was, that I went to Steve Ross. Yeah. Who had, himself heard about had him. been a monk. And he... Then, yeah, he teaches, Who teaches here. here. Like, I, I just said that. He teaches here. Now, can I now, put you on? Yeah. There's Britt. She's, Britt runs, she's the brain behind any of my questions. The, right. She runs the teacher program but, um, and is helping us to build a curriculum. But um, so I'm not sure. Steve, oh, not I went on. to his class uh, that many years ago, and it was, like, it was a fun class. It was all chicks, no guys. All uh -huh. girls. I shouldn't say chicks. All girls, no guys. Bobby Sriver, a buddy of mine, who's a... Good activist, good person, sweet guy. One of my yeah, best Bobby friends. Shriver. Bobby. So he, he and I went um, at the request of Emma Watts, who was my intern and now is the head of Fox Pictures. Pictures. Mm. Anyway, we went to hot yoga. We went to yoga. Steve Ross's class was loud and fun and loud music, kind of loud hip hop music. And yeah. He never discusses yoga, even today. To this day, he doesn't do anything but play music and and teach an asana class. So Although it's basically he, like Easternish aerobics with hip hop. No, because he, Steve, exudes uh -huh. yoga. Uh huh. He is deeply studied. Cool. And you can yeah, tell. Yeah, I don't know him. And every so often he'll say something that's so profound, not what everybody regurgitates about whatever sutra or whatever subject we come up with. He right. can say something that shows you his deep knowledge of the subject. Hmm. He's a yogi. 
Right. But he believed the asana practice is just a fun practice and that you evolve through it without so much uh, uh, science. But I believe that yogic science is an important thing to infuse into the asana practice. So most of what we do, all of what we do at Tantris, mm. is based on our curriculum and our ideas, monthly themes. We begin with Lokasa, Mastasuki, No Bhavan too. Every yogi knows that chant. That's a commitment to make the world better and make other beings experience what you want for yourself or the freedom and happiness that you think. So that's that we, the mission. That's the mission for that's each great. yogi. That's the invocation. And then we, we end with a, a victory to the highest self, the, high, uh, the greatest teacher, or Buddha Sri Sakti or Bhagavan Ki. Mm. And <clears throat> in between, we have a theme. Um, and the theme for this month is Stiram Sukham Asanam. I think that's book two, Sutra 46. And the last month, we had a few weeks in the last month, where the first theme, because we've been over about six weeks or less, a lot less. But Congratulations. Thank you. But the first theme was the second sutra, which every yogi knows is Yoga Shita Friti Narodaha. Yoga is the cessation, fluctuation of mind. What is Christ consciousness, Nirvana, Samadhi, whatever you call mm. it, that's what the first theme was. And to talk about that, because a lot of yogis practice, and people you'd be surprised had practiced for years and didn't know the second sutra, many mm. years. And some, some teachers, not here, but teachers, mm. don't even know the most basic principles of, uh, or any really, too, know much, at yeah. least I should say, about... Well, that's the, why I made the comment about aerobics, like a huge part of yoga now is, is fine, but it's just exercise and fun, which is great. But there's very little meditation, if any, or, or well, there's any a meditation kind of mission. You know? at, the, at the end of every class as well, we have yeah. a five-minute meditation. We have a collective mantra wow. that we share. Um, uh, I thought it was a simple enough mantra. I wrote a book, and I'm a board of the TM group. We give meditation to kids nice. all over the world. Nice. And, uh, yeah, we've worked with David Lynch a yeah. little bit on this. So you must know Bob Roth. He's, uh, the, yeah, he's the guy. I don't know. Okay, well, Bob. My capacity to forget names is... Yeah, but Bob Roth, I sent him to teach Oprah, cool. I sent him to teach Ellen wow. Generous, I sent wow. him to see. So he's this meditation Bob in this in these celebrity circles. But, nice. but that's good because then those people sure. have big mouths. You know, yeah. Oprah learns it. Yeah. You know. So Steve, let me get back to Steve. Steve gave me the Eckhart Tolle book. He gave me the Yoga Sutras too, twenty over twenty years ago. Mm -hmm. He gave me the Eckhart Tolle book. Mm -hmm. uh, and I gave it to Oprah. Steve has been in the center of a lot of uh, You gave it to her like Los for Angeles. the first time? Like yeah. she hadn't seen it she before. She had not seen it. Wow. No, I gave it to her. So that's way back. Yes. Yeah. So before. You know, she got super into that, right? No one had gotten into it wow. before that. It was just Steve. Look at had, you. Eckhart was living in Steve's backyard. <laughs> in his, yes. Uh -huh. cool. Without any acclaim or anything, just a book. And Steve had read wow. the book and gave that book to me. That's wild. But Steve, so he attracted this great, you know, yogi. He's the first time I really understood the second sutra myself. Was from that book. When I... When he said, a car accident, I said, that's it. That kind of presence, that awareness, when everything is moving really slow, mm. that's the speed the world is moving at. That's what absolute awareness looks like, to see yeah. the miracles unfolding in yeah. front of you and be able to, to take them in without the noise of, uh, or the distractions of the fluctuating mind. So if you can be fully present, then you can, every moment is like in that car crash, except without the bad car crash. You're well, just no completely present. There's no bad car crash in that right. moment. Right. It's just, wow. Right. And, you, and your awareness kicks in to such a point, you know to save the little baby. You've seen these movies and mm. people's experience right. and they've written. You know that, you, you know what to do instinctively. You don't have to have noise or rethinking what is given to you innately. Yeah. And so thy will takes over in the case uh -huh. of pure presence or awareness, right? So, so that what is he, thy will? That, you know, you heard thy will will be done. Your I'm shit. more in the Buddhist world, so we're more well, like... Well, yeah, but, but your higher self. Uh, God is also your higher self. Yeah. I mean, what does that mean? What do you mean you don't get that? No, it's not that I the, disagree. We talked, we don't really get into the whole God thing. Where it's more like God is everywhere kind of thing. And the collective, you're fundamentally But good. you're a piece of it. Well, I don't know. I mean, I don't yeah. know that much. I know a little bit about yogic philosophy, and I always yeah. get this, this idea to collective. If God were the ocean, we'd be cups of God. Mm, then we would have beautiful. all the elements of God and all the instincts and all the awareness. Like everything written in Scripture, I believe, could just yeah. come from here. Yeah. There's nothing in Scripture that's well, true that's not already innately you know, understood, except we have covered up that understanding. 
So you have people from all over the world commenting right now. Folks, if you're coming in, just say where you're from. And if class you have a question, at 12 o'clock for all you yeah, people who need to go to Get down here. And if you um, have questions for Russell, ask him. Um, and give some likes and love. This is uh, likes, great. Likes and love? Yeah, you know, because it blows up the Facebook algorithm. So. Anybody watching? Yeah. Really? Yeah. What's your number over there? Nobody. No, it's a, it's a bunch. So, she doesn't know how to read it. So should we walk around Tantris before oh, the... Oh, uh, no, no, you don't go anywhere, do you? Huh? Do we have to go anywhere? We don't have to. We're, we're on the beanbag. Check this thing out. No, but maybe look, just make sure go look at that wall and come back. Go to go that wall real quick. Go to that wall. Yeah, look the at the wall. wall. And maybe just go to the wall. Go ahead. You don't have to I will. Me. I will go. And um, should I check out anything down there? I mean, yes. The okay. Go take you on a tour. All right. Take you on a tour. Now this is good. So I'm too tall. I'm having a little head rush. What? Are you getting a head rush? Yeah. Actually. Okay. Yeah. I'm good. I'm going to do a tour. So so here, from the, from the bottom, we'll come back we here, but this is stunning. The logo, the logo, the best logo I've ever oh, it's amazing. We love it. I can it. tell when I get the logo, like when I had baby back, I saw a tattoo of everybody's butt. That's why I knew it was real. That's nice. Nice work. All right, so now we're going down these yeah, beautiful stairs. And imagine you're coming in. They have a little right. Sanskrit action. You show the stairs. Show the prayer. Look at the yoga shit. So up. every stair has a yoga sutra. On the stairs. In These English. are some of. No, they're in Sanskrit. Oh, well. These are some of Russell's favorite sutras. Nice. We have the gorgeous alms, obviously, on the stairs. Beautiful. And the whole idea of the space mm -hmm. is that it is a wellness influencing, inspired space where everything that you would need to support your yoga practice is here. That's classic. Beautiful. So from the moment you walk in in the front, you are greeted by... Someone attained enlightenment and lost their head. You are greeted by incredible people. Incredible people. Hello. <laughs> Say hello to elephant audience. Hello. Uh, <laughs> and there's the uh, vaguely controversial... Ohm on the floor. Ohm on you the floor. You have an energy bar where it is self-serve and you can help yourself to something that would fuel you for before class or after class. Yes. So it's not just one little energy bar, it's a whole it's energy bar. It's a whole bar. energy bar. With everyone's and favorite uh, plastic bumper sticker on your local Prius uh, <laughs> slogan, coexist. That's that. And here's a couple of Russell's great books. Yeah. He's an avid vegan and we'll get into that when we go back upstairs. He's obviously a very successful business person. Lots of vegan treats. Nice. Like complimentary coffee. So is everything here vegan? Is everything here vegan or is that just That's mostly? That's the idea. Yeah. Cool. Well said. <laughs> so it's something about water, fancy water. Uh, yeah. Upstairs we have the alkaline water. Cool. That's a big here thing here in LA. Water. In LA, yeah. everyone everyone drinks fancy water, and the tap water is kind of gross. Yeah. I mean, I, I lived in New York for the last six years. I think they had good water there. Very good water. It's not yeah. okay here, but we oh, have the really? alkaline water so that everybody feels like they're taking care of themselves in a big way for hydration purposes. People are so loving the energy water. bar and coexist. Yeah. yeah, and then can I take you guys to the back of the space? Yeah. So we have our beautiful pantries. Oh, you have a apparel, active wear, and nice. teacher wear for after yeah. classes. Chief of Mukti. And here's the book where he's talking about Power of Now, Eckhart. Wow, you have your own line. So you have your own line of clothing. That was fast. I'm getting a little lost behind you here. <laughs> There's a lot to see. So what's the idea with the uh, clothing? Is that to go national or is that uh, just like exclusive here or? So, so far it's online. Okay. You can purchase online right. and then this is the one location that's physical that we have the clothing available for purchase. Nice. And we will see, we will see how it goes. Here's another book by Russell. Couple books, not by Russell, <laughs> but important books. Very but important. important books. So 
I think we're the first yoga wellness space to have a style bar. So women, men if they want as can well. Can I peek in there? Absolutely. Can right. get their Coming in. hair did yeah, after Do you mind being on camera? You can block yourself. <laughs> this is fatigue. Okay. I did not no, put you on camera. No, she can't be on camera. It's okay. Um, but she does work with us at Tantras. Cool. This is a great place to be if you never want to be on camera. <laughs> It's a very low profile yoga studio. <laughs> and we have such a You're gorgeous safe. outside space as well. So nice. students can come out here and hang out. We share the building with some pretty incredible businesses, including the Soho House, which is on the top floor. Ford Models is in the building. A lot of music agencies. So Russell started a yoga studio in the same building <laughs> as Ford Models and, and Soho House. Soho of course House. he did. And Soho House is did. like a, what is that? So Soho House is that membership only club. They have right. one in New York, Celebs one in London. And, yeah. yeah, it's for collaborative projects and, and uh, meetings to happen. You know, so there's, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of amazing so, people up there. Yeah, you see I'm them sure. In the building. So question about the clothing, since we're pretty environmental, I notice, is there anything eco about this stuff? So like, is that part of the, the philosophy? The 9200 space is eco-friendly. How's that? Um, we try to, to use as many recyclable materials as possible to build out the space. Wow, we nice. We use um, environmentally friendly products for cleaning. Mm -hmm. uh, we encourage people to use their water bottles and to not take long showers and all of those good things nice. as well. Of course, it's LA, so it's hard to get everyone to cycle to yoga. Right. <laughs> but we do actually talk about yeah. that and try to encourage that. Even though we do have a ballet outside if you need it. Sure. Um, if you yeah, want it. If you want it. And, um, but I noticed, the so nothing about the clothing though? The clothing is, can we not talk about yes. it? <laughs> well, it's just journalism. It's yeah, 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 yeah. I just, I'm not the retail manager. Oh, you're and not, And I wish you that she that. was here so I don't cool. know the details about the clothing. Yeah, I just yeah. noticed it's yeah. made in China, yeah. which we're not a huge fan of. Right. But it's gorgeous. It's beautiful stuff. Hopefully it could be yeah. eco. I noticed a lot of vegans and yoga people yes. tend to not be They're very nice. environmental, which is always interesting. <laughs> but it's cool you're doing the space that way. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. Absolutely. There's the word sustainable, just so everyone it's feels good, good about things. All right, shall we cool. um, go back up? Sure, do you Thank want to you. see the hot room? Oh, sure, that'd be great. See the actual studio. Yeah, it's beautiful. We're having a little Facebook Live uh, community action. So you're Facebook Living for Russell's yes. page. <laughs> and do you want to point at me? Oh, you were. Oh. And uh, hey, Russell's page, this is Elephant's uh, 50 pages, but you know, Russell's a big deal. So we're all hanging out together. And here's the slogans. And if I'm gonna guess, yeah, Rainbow and Russell are gonna be having an avid conversation right here. And then we'll see the hot rooms. So we have two hot rooms. Rainbow Laws. Rainbow is a very famous teacher. Oh, we love her. There's a class in there. There's a lot of wrangling you must uh, have to do all the time. Oh, yeah. 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 This is the holy storage <laughs> facility, which is kind of a long-standing yeah. yogic tradition. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't want to go too far in. I'm in my shoes. Why? You don't want to? No, I just have my shoes on. Oh. It's stunning. And, and it's, it's hot. And it's hot. So if you like or love this, give it a like or love. It's a stunning space. Yeah, we have the beautiful hardwood floors. We have natural light coming in, which not natural all hot yoga right? studios have. Yeah. And um, oh, infrared nice. heat which is key, infrared uh -huh. heat. Why is that key? I don't know uh, anything about healthier. that. It's healthier, so you're not blowing hot air into the room, but it mm. heats the body up from the inside out, like Ujjayi breath. It has a similar effect. Nice, wow. Um, and we try to use... It's like, got a beautiful, beautiful little shrine. Lighting, candles in the evening uh, to create such a beautiful, serene, peaceful space. Wow. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, it's pretty cool, right? This is the holy... The holy men's Men room? Yeah, you can take a look. I can. Oh, right. Maybe I'll wander in there. Hopefully no one's uh, having a private moment. All right. I think we're safe. All right, this may not be very exciting. Lockers. The holy towel drop. Stylish sink. Celebrity worthy. We got some nice showers back here. They're really into this font. They definitely bought this font online. It's a good investment. That's where you buy fonts. Uh, oh, hey, Bess. Here I am. I will go back to me. 
My name is Waylon Lewis, and I am trying to have a coherent conversation with Russell, which is always a challenge. Celebrities love to talk, and they have a lot to say, which is awesome. All right. Cool. I had fun in the men's room. Nice. Yeah, if you have any questions, anyone. Um, Nyasa is a big fan of mine, I can tell. Um, but most of the comments, yeah, are really beautiful. Deepak Chopra, Alpine Water, beautiful. People are loving Russell. We have fantastic people, teachers. People love the coexist sign. And um, yeah, you have great teachers. Nice. I have a beautiful view. You can see it as well. Yeah, so this is like the little community room. Mm -hmm. Alright, we have a little... I'll do what you say. And then the class will be really cool. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I want to... You're going to confirm that? February. So okay. should we... Um, What's up? Yeah. Should so now, we continue? Guys, yeah. Awesome. Thank you for keeping each other company while I wandered around your beautiful studio. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. So, um, so how much of focus of your... Uh, considerable energies is this place. Is the, well, I get up every morning. I live down the block. Uh -huh. I come here. I take practice. Uh, yesterday, I took three classes. Um, and I, I go to the classes. Three classes. To wow. help assess Good the for teachers. you. We, yeah. we, we, you know, we have a lot of really talented teachers, some of whom, um, although teaching great sequencing and great asana practice, don't have as much... Um, uh, background in yogic science as I would like. And mm. So we are all collectively moving towards being able to pass our own teacher training. But right. we're also working on that curriculum. The curriculum right. for Tantras is not 100% done. Right. We know we want students, teachers, to have a, a good, very strong understanding of the Yoga Sutras, the Bhagavad Gita, the Hatha Yoga Padipika. We want them to read the textbook of Yoga Psychology. Good for you. We want them to have read two or three texts from Yogananda. We want them to study the anatomy deeply, no alignment, uh, as if they were great Anasara teachers or, or Yanga teachers. We want them to know um, uh, Yoga Sutra, Bhagavad Gita, the textbook of Yoga Psychology, Autobiography of Yogi, and two other texts. The yeah. Science of Religion would be a good one. Nice. Um, we want them to read my book on meditation, because we teach, which is Success Through Stillness, because we teach a mantra-based meditation that's loosely based on... Um, um, on the, the uh, David Lynch, because I'm on the board, and uh, TM. Mm. So it's a mantra-based meditation. A lot of the, the ideas with Maharishi are incorporated. But we also believe that uh, all the, that students should know, because in my book, it's a simple book, but it, it, it talks about all the most recent scientific um, re research, because I think people want to know. And it's a little bit psychosomatic. Our belief is that it's a little psychosomatic to know that the gray matter in the brain is growing, maybe makes it grow a little faster to know that your memory is greater and your left and the right side of the brain are connecting, allows that gateway to really open up quick, just as quickly, to know all the benefits of meditation. So that's what we have, the most recent research. is probably the best reason to read my, my book, Success Through Stillness. But, <clears throat> and we also want, you know, the, the simple ways to impart knowledge. And so another book I wrote about enlightenment is called Super Rich, very simple book. Um, and it's a book that we may ask our teachers to read. We're working on... Yeah, that was sent to us. Super rich. Yeah, the state of it. needing nothing. It's yeah. super rich, right? Yeah. And it's also a little bit about prosperity because it's a way of looking at mm. uh, yogic science as a, a, a... Like Jesus taught two sermons, right? One to the masses. Mm. Good givers are great getters, right? A lot of people believe in that, right? And then he taught another one to his disciples. Give without expectation. Mm. And uh, while the, the masses were able to pay the Romans their taxes on time because of this idea of giving and taking... Right, the mm. cycle of giving. The the disciples had no problem with the taxes because they <coughs> because they were such great givers that they were sought after and they then their return was even greater. So this idea of making it in the world, super rich kind of borrows from um, you know, all the aspirations and, and stuff that's pushed on people mm. and then uses scripture to try to give you a way into it without getting into it, like without being attached to it. So I think that that's kind of the education, aside from the fact that we want people to really, I said this, but really be good with alignment and give good adjustments and be prepared to be part of a team, which is other thing, tantris. Like you say, well, why would you use this mantra, this collective mantra, rum, which we give to our students? Because it's a collective. 
and, it is, and, and, and we should share, we could share a mantra. It's our belief that we could. There's a million ways to meditate, and they're all probably equally good. Hmm. Right? Uh, candle gazing may be as good as breath mantra. Well, they have different intentions, so they are kind of all over. The, they're different, you know? They are different, right? Yeah. And, and so we have one that just allows the, uh, the mind to reboot. They all do that, at least. And, they, and freedom from the noise, uh, that's what we're all chasing that, and all meditation has hmm. that as part of their focus. So we have a specific system we're building to move people based on scripture, based on basic ideas that people have all accepted, but a route, you know, there's, there's an infinite amount of knowledge. Someone says, oh, the Yoga Sutras, I want to read the Tantra books instead, and then I'm going to learn through all the struggle I can come up with. And somebody else says I'm going to practice a little more restriction, and I think that route, but all of these routes lead to the same place. The Tantra route will guarantee, I can guarantee that just based on it coming from uh, the classic eight limbs of yoga is a big part of our, our teaching, right? So just coming from that, if you could practice just one piece of the classic eight limbs of yoga, in other words, in the yamas you have ahimsa and satya, stay, a brahmacharya, a, um, a parigaha, something's missing, okay, but ahimsa, yeah. if you could just practice ahimsa, you wouldn't need to know anything. Mm. If you could treat the self right. But it's great you're having a curriculum here that people are actually learning and the teachers yeah. are learning and passing on. And yes. That's r more and more rare. It's more and more rare, but it's more and more necessary because yeah. as there are thousands of yoga studios, and every time I go to class, I see somebody ultimately has an ohm tattooed on them somewhere. Mm. Right? And they're seekers, many of them. And they're not getting it other places. And so mm. giving a little bit and giving it in a fun enough way, we. I mean, we, we have a lot of music. You know, I'm a music guy. I like music. Yeah. A lot of yoga is an important thing. So, the, uh, the music we're referring to, I think about um, uh, making it commercial enough, accessible enough. But we love the Sanskrit because the vibration uplifts us, right? We know that. All music does. But and it's all devotional to some degree. But Krishna Das and Kanye West for this month. Mm -hmm. Next month, it may be Mary J. Blige and Krishna Das. We may have mm -hmm. to do them again. A lot of teachers didn't play enough he's Krishna great. Das to satisfy me. Yeah. Oh, I, I just think that because he's coming to perform here as well. Nice. We might do Krishna Das and Mary J. Blige or Bad Boy Records, the whole team. I don't know. But, we're gonna, but in other words, we're going to work together, our, our um, committee, and come up with lots of programs and ideas that will help to uplift these uh, students. Right. We have to wrap it up. Class coming. What yeah. time is it now? What time? Cool. Oh, well, you got I mean, you can keep going. I'm just saying I'm going to have to go soon. Well, we can wrap Are it up. Are you filming my back of my head the whole time? Nah. She is. She's You're getting the profile. Huh? No. Yeah. Well, You're looking right. good. Um, so, yeah, I just I want to give you a compliment that this place is like sexy and it's fun and it's elegant. Is uh, sexy hot seems, yoga seems vaguely On the eco. Tantra, sexy hot yoga. Sexy hot yoga, but there's still some curriculum and learning at the same time. So there's a real like rub between those two things. It's accessible yet deep, maybe. Accessible. I don't want to use the word deep. Yeah. <laughs> but no, simple science. Simple. Yeah. You do this, you get that. Maybe grounded. Yeah. You, yeah. you know, we learn through struggle that meditation is better. Morning meditation is better for me, after my experiences, than late night drinking, uh -huh. right? Late night drinking, fun. Morning meditation, after late night drinking, not so fun. You think about it, you like the morning meditation. Clarity, you want the clarity rather than the wake up cloudy. Mm. There's two routes to happiness uh, that I can think of. All we wanna do is quiet the mind, there's only one route, the empty mind, right? The less noisy mind. So. There's two ways, right? There's cloudiness, you know, mm. or there's clarity. Uh, you take drugs and drink and buy shit and do stuff and stuff the mind with stuff, or you empty the mind, right? An empty mind doesn't mean it's nihilistic or that you go away. Oh, yeah, it's but you're yoga You're people. clear. You know that. You know that this, this, yeah, it's when, good the noise, when the mind is quiet, you have intense focus on yeah. everything. Right. So it's not the same as not right. having any focus. In fact, it's the opposite. Awesome. Well, Russell, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's been fun. Um, thanks for uh, creating this. And Rainbow, thanks for coming. Thanks to Lindsay. Rainbow, thank you for Thanks to Tantras. Did you guys interview Rainbow? Yeah, we've featured her many times. We've featured Christian Doss. Many Dots. times, really? Dude, we're huge fans. She was on a couple months ago. 
quite recently. Really? I was on like, the cover when it was still. Yeah, she was on the cover when it was a Right. When well, you were just getting started, she's your cover. She's how you got started. Come on. She got us going. Look at her. She's, I mean, she's amazing. I mean, we, we love are, her. We are human. Like, we might be evolved some, but look at her. She, she's fuck. the completion of evolution. All right. The completion Thank you, everyone. Of evolution. What type of shit is that? Some new shit. Yo, B.